Is that annoying everyone? <laughs> so I'm on my tea break. Sorry, I'm stirring my tea. I know it annoys people. It annoys me when I watch it back. But, you know, sometimes you just have to forgive. You know, it's just one of those things. So I'm sorry about the clunking of the tea. Good morning. Welcome to Iridium Rock and Metal Reviews. So I'm back at work. It's cold, as you can tell. I've got my hat on now. I don't like it. I just don't like it. Bring back the summer. I'm missing it already. The sun's out, but it's freezing. So I'm ready to carry on with the 2011 list of best songs. So I'm, that's what I'm up to, 2011 now. So, wow, we nearly run out. We nearly run out. But there's loads of other stuff going on on the channel. So, you know, not to worry. So 2011 is a cool list. Some really, all the way up actually to 2019, some great releases. So I'm here to talk about them. So I've actually got eight songs to talk about. That's good. Um, my best songs of 2011, starting from eight, going down to one, my favourite. And So Toby Hitchcock is the lead singer, if you don't know, of a band called Pride of Lions, AOR band. Very good band sort of like mix up with survivor that sort of sound very sort of very soft sort of melodic rock um but i actually prefer when he goes out on his own toby hitchcock he's done a couple of albums now this one is especially good it's the solo album from him his first one this is the moment is the song from mercury's down but it's like got so much catchiness in it it's a little bit i think it's a little bit heavier than Pride of Lions, and that's why I reckon it resonates with me. Because I do like AOR music, but I do like it where the you know the guitars there up front, not too soft, you know. So it's a little more like melodic hard rock, if you know what I mean. Mixed with AOR, AOR sometimes for me I can't, I don't like all of it. And sorry about the tea again. I'm going to finish stirring right now. Thank you very much. But that's a great track off a great album if you haven't checked out um toby hitchcock's solo stuff do it if you like your stuff catchy and you like it 80s sounding he's got a great voice as well a really great voice that's my number eight my number seven is shy the band shy and a song called so many tears off of the album called shy so obviously they waited a lot of years to to name an album shy but you know it's never too late and what they did on this album, they got a guy called Lee Smoyne singing. And he does a really good job on this album. To tell you the truth, I do prefer um, Tony Mills, who was the original singer of Shy, who passed away, sadly. But um, he, this guy, Lee Small, does a brilliant job. And what they did, they beefed this album up. They made it heavier. Still really, still really in the melodic, heavy rock sort of vein. You know, that sort of journey sort of thing, but a little bit heavier, I would say. The guitars are really up front. Um, if you love your, like, a bit like Toby Hitchcock's album, if you love your, your stuff catchy, um, this this album actually sounds really huge. It sounds big. It's a, it's a great album. And So Many Tears is a great song on lots of, there's lots of good songs on the album. This is one of them. That's my number seven. My number six, The Return of Anthrax and Worship Music. Um, the album Worship Music. So the, the track I've chosen is The Devil You Know. A great song. Joey Belladonna back in the band. My favourite Anthrax singer. Although John Bush is very good as well. But Joey Bell Belladonna. I actually love him in Anthrax. I think, it, you know, I missed him when he went. And when he came back, it was great for me. And this this song, The Devil You Know, is heavy. But it doesn't veer into the you know the real freshy stuff that they used to back in the early days it's really sort of metal more than anything really check out the new anthrax stuff i think they've had three albums out now and they're all good they're all really good like three albums since joey belladonna return check that out it's brilliant my number five is blackstone cherry southern band and the song in my blood off of between the devil and the bleep deep blue sea this is my favorite blackstone cherry album why because it's full up with southern melodies, brings you back to those sort of skinnered sort of times, you know. It's a bit more mellow than the other albums yet to come. It's like 
he, the album's got about four or five, maybe, maybe even more, sort of really mellow southern ballad sort of songs. And this is one of them, and I love it. Blackstone Cherry, Between the Devil and the Blue Sea is the album, In My Blood's the name of the song. My number four is one that I only heard the other day. So people have been sort of, you know, listen to this, listen to this. I did a reaction and it's brilliant. And now it's entered the charts of my 2011 best songs. And it's Theocracy, I Am, from As The World Bleeds. Now it is number four. It could even creep higher, but I've only heard it a couple of times now. It's a 10 and a half minute, epic, twist and turner, a little bit proggy, only a little bit, mainly a little bit freshy, very melodic, a bit folky. You understand what I'm saying here, didn't you? 10 minute, 10 and a half minute epic, just the way you want it. Great singer, great musicians, Fioxy, a great band. So that's my number four. My number three is Striper and God from the covering album. So this song was stuck on an album full of covers that Striper did, obviously back in 2011. <laughs> and what what it is, is a real return to what they used to sound like in the 80s, but a bit heavier. So, I mean, I was talking to Michael Sweet. Did I mention I spoke to Michael Sweet? I may have done. <laughs> I did an interview with Michael Sweet, and he sort of said the covering album was the sort of start to them getting back to the way they was now, you know, to the, their 80s sound, but a little bit of modern uh, touch on it. And this was really, this God song could have been on, you know, No More Hell to Pay onwards, you know. It's a brilliant song. F would have fit right in with those. Um, you know, I think about Striper, they're brilliant. And this is a brilliant song to go with it. So that's my number three. My number two is Journey and Edge of the Moment from the Eclipse album. Edge of the Moment is a great song on a totally underrated album, Eclipse. It's the second song in. This album from Journey was their last one they did, so nine years ago, which is a shame. And they went with their heavier side. You could, you know, I've said before, this was Neil Sean's album, without a doubt. He wanted to do a guitar album, and it is. It's a guitar album all the way through. But Journey never forget where they are with their melodies. And I think the melodies are so strong on this album. So underrated. So, such a disappointment, sales-wise, from the Journey fans who didn't buy in with this sort of sound. And obviously, they're going to go back now. If they do another album, it will, they will go back to their, you know, more... AOR sort of sound, but I think it was a great album. One of my favourites from Journey. Um, that's my number two. And my number one, Ice Earth and Anguish of Youth from Dystopia. So this is where Stu Block came into the band. Stu Block's an amazing singer. He's one of the singers now, I think. You know, we I go on about singers that are not accepted into bands because, you know, he's always been an old older singer and the singer leaves and no one comes in. He's not accepted. People forget about the band. But I think Stu Blocks, you can't you can't ignore this guy because he does everything perfect. Brilliant. An absolutely brilliant choice to get him in as as the singer. And this is like a anguish of youth. Is like more one of their mellower side, sides of their um, album, you know, the sides of Ice Earth, which I love. I think they do that absolutely brilliant, as good as any other band. You know, I love it when they slow it down. And Stu Block, like I said, is in a great band now. Um, but, you know, he fits straight in. It, he's brilliant. So that's my 2011 list. I hope you liked it. I've got a couple more of albums that I can mention that came out that didn't quite make my list. White Snake, Forevermore came out. Saxon, Call to Arms, Work of Art, In Progress, Voodoo Circle, Broken Heart Syndrome. All good albums. But, you know, you can't put everything on a list. I'll be talking forever. So, um, eight it was. And just a few honourable mentions. Thank you very much for listening. I may return with another 2012 list this week. Um, I'm not sure yet if I do get time to do it. And if you want to subscribe, please press the red button, bottom right corner.